Today we're going to take a look at how to configure our Workday credentials to work within SnapLogic. In SnapLogic, the setup credential is represented by an account. And to create an account for any of the applications that we support, you can either do so by drag and drop the Snap you want to work with within the for that application, or you can uh, configure one in the manager itself. We'll look at how to configure the credentials using the Snap approach. So in the designer, we're going to search for Workday snaps. And then we're going to simply drag and drop a Workday snap onto the canvas. From here, the system is going to prompt you to select an existing uh, Workday configuration or credential. We're going to select Create New Account. And for today, we're going to simply use the Workday account option. Uh, if you would like to know how to configure the Workday dynamic account, uh, please refer to our documentation. So I'm going to select the Workday account option, and now we're just simply prompted by the specific fields. And since every one of these fields is starred, we will need to uh, have a value in every one of them in order for this account to be configured. So let's go ahead and populate the value itself. Once the value is populated, we can go ahead and hit the validate button. And the system is going to use these credentials to make a live connection into your Workday instance and check if the username and password are valid against that specific endpoint. If it's successful, we will see the account validated icon pop up on the top of the screen. A few notes here. Um, you can select a different version if you would like uh, based off of the API documentation. Um, you should be getting your own specific tenant value as well as the host value. You can see how easy it is to actually configure one of these endpoints. Feel free to practice and hit the validate button should give you a good indicator uh, as to whether or not the connection is successful. If you do run into issues, feel free to contact SnapLogic support or refer to the documentation. Thank you very much.